Dear colleagues, this is a hard intumescent cataract. We can see the radial water clefts in this case. This is the main incision at around 11 o'clock with a 2.8 millimeter keratome. This is a posterior limbal incision. And now, this is a paracentesis incision. On the right side of the main incision, about two and a half clock hours away. And this is another paracentesis incision on the left side of the main incision, about two clock hours away. And now, this is an air bubble, and underneath this air bubble, I am going to inject tripan blue dye. Here goes the 0.06% tripan blue dye. The dye is spread evenly over all parts of the anterior capsule. The dye doesn't get diluted because there is air bubble in the anterior chamber and the staining becomes very fast. The dye is washed out. And now, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used as the viscoelastic substance. No cohesive viscoelastic substance is being used. This is HPMC 2%. Now a 26 case bent needle is taken and the anterior capsule is incised right at the center and a C flap is raised. Little bit of visco is removed and a very small rexis is done at this stage. Now with a Simco cannula some cortical lens matter is removed. The cortex is squeezed from periphery to come out through this small opening at the center. You can use a bimanual irrigation aspiration for a removal of some cortical lens matter. The idea is to reduce the intralenticular pressure and when we remove the cortical matter like this, the intralenticular pressure is reduced drastically and the shrew is tamed. Viscoelastic substance is then injected again. A vana scissor is taken and a small nick is made at the margin of this small rexus. Uterator forceps is taken again. This tag is healed and in this case I'm going to do a large rexus because I can see there is a hard brown big nucleus. So I am going almost along the border of the people and I have made a large rexus in this case. This will facilitate management of these hard nucleus. And see the submarine chop. The teeth goes into the substance of the nucleus, travels through the nucleus as a submarine goes through the water, goes to the opposite equator and the chopper is then used to chop the nucleus. Now this crack has not gone to the opposite side. So I rotate it 180 degree. Yes, 180 degree make this groove little deeper and now I apply opposite forces and along that crack the nucleus divides into two halves. Now each half is being 
subdivided into three parts because this is a large nucleus each heminucleus is divided into three fragments and now the opposite the other heminucleus is also divided into three parts and now each fragment is brought at the center of the entry chamber at the iris plane and it is emulsified and removed ultrasonic energy used in this case is 80 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury this is Oatley Caterix 3 vacuum machine and this is the last nuclear fragment I remove the chopper to make the anterior chamber more stable yes the leakage from the side port stops the posterior capsule goes towards the vitreous cavity and it is very safe to emulsify the last piece and always emulsify all the fragments being at the iris plane now viscoelastic substance is injected cortical cleanup is done there are a lot of cells on the posterior capsule in this case so I am doing hydro polish the fluid jet of the irrigating probe or bimanual IA is being used it is directed towards the posterior capsule it is swept over the posterior capsule without touching the posterior capsule and these cells get dislodged and in this case you can see some fibers are sticking to the anterior capsular rim which I have planned to remove later. Now after injecting viscoelastic substance this intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. This is focus force from Bosch and Lomb and it unfolds very quickly and it is uncomfortable for me. However, it can be managed. So the lens is in the capsular bag. Some viscoelastic substance has been removed by depressing the posterior leaf. Now, caught, now the viscoelastic substance is being irrigated out first by the irrigating probe or bimanual IA. And then irrigation and aspiration are being used together. And at this time I remove the fibers that are projecting from the anterior capsular rim that's it the case is nicely done now the side ports are hydrated to make these wounds waterproof these stub incisions are hydrated stromal hydration now this is the final lavage of anterior chamber antechamber is formed nicely and the case is concluded so in this case you have seen how to do orexis just by SPMC how to do submarine chop go into the substance of the nucleus near the opposite equator and then chop the nucleus it is a variety of horizontal chop here it is the antechamber is formed and the case is concluded hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills thank you very much for your attention